We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Atlanta Braves and the Miami Marlins. Digging in now, Ozzy Albies, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Set to deliver on two and one. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Nick Markakis digging in now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And Markakis lays off here. It's two and one. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. And he lays off here. Ball four. And he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Markakis leads off first with one away. A little low. It's two and two. We all know he's a really good hitter, and this is probably a good example why. He fell behind 0-2, but knowing they're probably going to try to get him to chase a pitcher's pitch, he got really patient. He's still up against the ropes a little, but he's in a much better position now on a 2-2 count. Swing and a laser off into foul territory. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Ramirez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. The one two fly ball out to right field right fielder giving chase he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning at the plate Jonathan VR he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first now the one and one pitch Misses ball two. One strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hamels has hurled more than 2,700 major league innings in his career. And through those innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Swing and a soft liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Miguel. Stepping in now, Miguel Rojas. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Ready now for the Marlins. Corey Dickerson. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He pulls this one into right. Markakis is there and he makes the catch for the out. And he is in there. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami. Jesus Aguilar. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Culberson on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. No score here as we play inning number two. This one's flared out toward left. In there, a base hit. The third base Austin. Into the box Riley. now. Austin Riley. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! At the plate, Cole Hamels. Fouled off. The next one, two pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harrison will range to his left and put it away. Two down. So up steps Ozzy Albies, last year's recipient of the Silver Slugger Award for NL second baseman. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Three runs already home here. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Now batter, the right fielder, Nick Markakis. Into the box, Nick Markakis. Line towards center field. Harrison makes the catch, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Jorge Alfaro. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Throw over to the bag, but the runner's back easily. A 1 1. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Harold Ramirez becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Rounded down the third baseline. Scooped up over to Albies. On to first, and that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the inning is over. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And he misses again. Ball three. Hit hard down the line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at 3 and 2. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And it's gone as they add still another. In now, Ronald Acuna. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to one and two now. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. Now batting left fielder Marcel Ozuna. So now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. 
two and two count. Here it comes. Here's a look over to first. Just keeping him close. Nobody out runner on first. Full count now, three and two. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three, two count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Now batting. Stepping in for the Braves, Tyler Flowers. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. The 2-2 two -two is swung on and missed. He got him. The next to bat for Atlanta, Charlie Culberson. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Standing in now, Austin Riley. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. The 1-1. One, one. Line but speared on a hop. VR at the bag, and that retires the side. Up next for Miami, Monte Harrison. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Right side. And there's one away. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Sandy Alcantara. Two balls and a strike. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And it's fouled away. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. One and two now, as that's in there at the knees. One and two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. And that's the third out. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hey! Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. The 2-1. Line drive to left but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Two gone now in the Braves half of the fourth, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Four runs, six hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Miguel Rojas. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. The 3 1. Lifted in the air to center. Acuna's there for it. One away. So striding forward now, Corey Dickerson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Hit to third. Throw on to first, and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Now the one and one pitch. Taken, strike two. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Josh Rader, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number nine. New inning set to get underway. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He's one for two in this one. That fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Nip the corner. Two and two. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Here's Marcelo Zuna. It was a walk in his last trip. Four runs, six hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. And a half hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try again, one, two. Hard ground ball to third, reined in. Throw gets him, two down. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dickerson's there. And the inning is over. Digging in, Jorge Alfaro. He drew a walk his first time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Marquez is there and he'll bring this one in. Digging in, Harold Ramirez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. He's got it. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Standing in, Brian Anderson. The third baseman, Brian Anderson. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Monte Harrison would be next. Grounded to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Up next for the Marlins, the center fielder, Marlins. 
to the plate now, Monte Harrison. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So coming to the plate, Charlie Culberson. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Here it comes on one and one. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now back. Into the box now, Austin Riley. To two and two now. A runner at first with no outs here. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. The next three, two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now batting. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, Paul Hamels. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. A 1 1. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down. Make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He's working on a one for three thus far. Three and one. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three, two. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Throw into second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Into the box, Nick Markakis. And Markakis lays off here. It's two and one. Markakis ahead with a three and one count here. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Garrett Cooper is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Garrett. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he fouls this one off. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jonathan Villar, he flew out in his last at bat. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Three and one now. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. Fouled away. The 3-2 one more time. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. So striding in, Miguel now Rojas. That. It's been an Not 0 for time. 2 effort for him Be to care. this point. Here's the 1 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Albies trying to get there. 
He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. In now, Corey Dickerson. He was a ground out victim last time up. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. That's popped up. Riley just to the left of the mound. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Sterling Sharp is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 55. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He homered back in the third inning in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And there's ball two now. To first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's in time. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Ronald Acuna. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. One and two now. Hit on the ground out to short. And he'll get in there safely. Now back, the left fielder, Marcel Ozuna. Stepping in now, Marcel Ozuna. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. The 3 1. Takes a strike for a full count now, 3 and 2. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Tyler. Wow. A 1 1. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Ready now, Charlie Culberson. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Two men are on with two men out. Nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And this is hit hard to the right side. The 2-2. Popped him up. VR has a play. And the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seven-minute Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jesus Aguilar. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Stepping in, Jorge Alfaro. Both for one for him here in this one. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And this will bang up against the wall. Now that is the right field. So now to the plate, Harold Ramirez. Two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 3-1. Hard hit ball to short. Over to Albies. Now over to Freddie, and it's a double play. Stepping in, Brian Anderson. Runner in scoring position with two guns. Third baseman, Brian Anderson. Hamels comes set. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Line to the right side, but foul. Hit to first. 
Freeman's got it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Jimmy Garcia will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. John Birdie is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number five. John one one and a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats so another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batting. Now the to the pitch. plate, the pitcher, Cole, Cole Hamels. Yeah. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. The 1 1 home. Line toward the alley in left center. And Hamels helps himself out. He's got a base hit. The batter. The second baseman. In now, Ozzie Albies. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. The batter. Striding in once again, Nick Markakis. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 3 1. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But uh, this is foul near the seats. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Popped him up. Birdie makes the catch for out number three. Luke Jackson goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 77. So that'll bring in Monty Harrison next. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now with the plate, John Birdie, lifetime against this pitcher. He's 0 for 4. The 2 1. He's in there for strike number two. So a full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. At the plate, Jonathan VR. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now at the plate, Miguel Rojas. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Digging in, Corey Dickerson. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Set to deal on two and two. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And the score is the runner from first. It's now a 5-2 game. Darren O'Day is called upon with two out in the eighth as he's asked to complete a four-out save. 
At the plate now, Jesus Aguilar. Two and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a hard liner. Foul. Mm, just low with the slider there. That's ball three. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit in the air down the left field line. Ozuna is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Conley enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. He's set to start the ninth in this one. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman. He homered back in the third inning in this one. There's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Standing in now, Ronald Acuna. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better what pitches. Yeah, just great four. approach. No one really Marcel. chased today. Really oh, stayed yeah. staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Up next for Atlanta. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Flowers. He's hitless wow. in three at-bats to this point. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jorge Alfaro. He singled his last time up. Down by a bunch here, and what makes it even more difficult, they're facing the closer. Not going to be an easy task trying to tie this one or go ahead here at home. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Harold Ramirez. The 1 2 misses for the second ball. Cole Hamels in line for the victory should the lead hold. Ball three. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Over to Albies. Back to first. A ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. Matt Joyce will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Right, yeah. 
And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Monte Harrison would be next. Back up the middle. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. And tonight's ends at a six to two finish. The Atlanta Braves took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Cole Hamels gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Sandy Alcantara was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Darren O'Day records four outs on his way to the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves: six runs, 11 hits, two errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Marlins, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely.